Hello everyone, this is Starman, and welcome back to Let's Play Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. Last time, we made it to Atlantis along the Fist Path. This time, we will be starting the Wits Path, where we go it alone, but we think our way through problems. I'd rather think my way through. Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I'm sure. I like to think. Okay, if that's how you feel, you're on your own. I don't Good feel, luck. I think. I'll send you a postcard. So long, Indy. And again, we are left with the choice of do we go to Monte Carlo first or Algiers. Uh, this time we will go to Monte Carlo first because this, strangely enough, starts off almost exactly like the Fist Path. And there's... Just a moment, please. Michel Trottier in his brown suit. Are you Alan Trottier? Well, perhaps. Who's asking? I'm Dr. Indiana Jones of Barnett College. Jones, Jones, Jones. I believe I've heard of you. Yes, of course, the famous archaeologist. And we still want to play humble. Actually, I'm just a simple professor. Well, leave the modesty to me, sir. Alain Trottier. Amateur scholar, part-time poet, professional dreamer. And still a bullshit artist. I've heard you deal in Atlantean artifacts. Aha, my reputation precedes me. To prove you're worth dealing with, answer me this. What was a Plato's great error? Uh, that would be the error of translation. He got everything off by a factor of 10. An error of translation. Yes, excellent. Obviously, you know Plato's lost dialogue well. Personally, I doubt I can help you, but my name is recognized among dealers in antiquity. Maybe my business card will be of some use to you. Feel free to look me up whenever you're in town. And now, au revoir. And that is all we can do in Monte Carlo at the moment. Driver, to the airport. But unlike the fist path, we will have to come back here. And as in the fist path, uh, there is no balloon vendor. And the beggar can't really tell us anything useful other than nobody knows where Omar Al Jabbar's home is, but he does have a shop here. Uh, there is no grocer, there is no knife thrower, nothing to distract us except for the shop itself. But you'll note that this time, Mr. Paul Abdul is not wearing his jaunty fez. Excuse me. How can I help you with Indy? Are you Omar? You mean Mr. Al Jabbar? <laughs> that is an also good one, Effendi. I'm his trusted servant, Paul. Paul Abdul. Can you arrange a meeting with Mr. Al Jabbar? I suppose I could, Effendi, but my master rarely deals with clients in person. Why should I bother him? I've got something to sell. Doesn't everyone? You'll have to give me a better reason than that. Well, as before, we name drop. Excuse me. Yes? I think this may interest you. Ah, the business card of Monsieur Trottier. That's different. Perhaps Mr. Al Jabbar will desire to speak with you. Wait here until I get back. And again, we are not going to wait. But we are going to have one small problem of tracking him this time. Because while there is a dot for the servant somewhere, It's a lot harder to keep track of him. I'm 
amongst all the other white dots. Hey, where'd he go? Well, in point of fact, I know he was somewhere over here. But because this makes you do things a certain way, we have to head Just back a moment, please. to the marketplace. Mm hmm. When this fellow in the jaunty red fez just happens to be near the marketplace, and then we can approach him. Nice fez. Why, thank you. Are you here for the festival? No, but that's quite a hat. Do you like it? How much do you want for it? Sorry, but my beloved fez is not for sale at any price. Salam, Avendi. So now we have to chase after this guy and keep pestering him until he will just give us the fez. Um, Excuse me. Hmm? Nice fez. Do you like it? It's kind of garish. That's true, it is. Salam, Avendi. And we do have to run through pretty much every single option before we are given the choice of being able to get the Fez or get the proper I'm choice. There. Hmm? Nice Fez. Do you like it? Not particularly. Each to his own taste, my friend. Salam, Avendi. Think happy thought. Think happy thought. I'm thinking about strangling you. That's a very happy thought right now. But yes, the whole point of this exercise, and there is one, is that the red fez does stick out a bit. Unfortunately, didn't catch him while he was at the market. Just a moment, please. Hmm? Nice fez. Do you like it? That's better than a sharp stick in the eye. Oh my, yes. Why does it attract you? It's kind of festive. Aha, you observe closely, my friend. With a fez, one becomes truly festive. Undoubtedly, you feel envy, no? I am a little frustrated. I can see that. You torture yourself trying to attain the unattainable. Here, take my fez and join in the festivities. <laughs> Say, thanks a lot. You're welcome. The very act of giving it to you has lifted me to a higher state of festivity. Someday you'll understand. So, I have a fez now. Because fezzes are cool. It's a painfully bright red fez. Alright, so now that I have this fez, what am I going to do with it? Excuse me. What is it now? Is there a festival around here somewhere? Well, if there is, you can't prove it by me. How much are those pots? I'd like to tell you, but after I cut myself shaving, I got hit by an ox cart on my way to my mother's funeral and lost the price list. Never mind. All right. So the whole point is that we are trying to make Paul Abdul much easier to track. Excuse me. Yes? I think this may interest you. Why would I want a fizz? And there's a couple of reasons, but we'll go with superstition. Because if you say no woman can resist me with a fez, he'll say I'm married. If you say I make him look taller, he'll say I'm happy with my height the way I am. It's a magic good luck fez. Now that you mention it, I could use some good luck for a change. Who couldn't? Thank you. All right, so now, Excuse me. What is it now? Could you go see Mr. Al-Jabbar again? 
Well now, since you have contacts among antiquities dealers, I guess I could see if he is available. Wait here until I get back. Yeah, we're not going to wait here until he gets back. Anyway, now that he is wearing this red fez, it will be much, much easier for us to track him through the streets. Riveting, isn't it? I think I just reset that by ducking into the market. Come on, you have to go home eventually. servants ducking into that house all right finally i don't care who he knows i don't want to see him understand yes sir aha dr jones i suppose what an unpleasant surprise shall i remove this peasant master that won't be necessary paul now be a good lad and alert the police while i entertain our guest but uh, We'll talk about your punishment later. <laughs> well, well, well. I had no idea the famous Indiana Jones was such a fool, traveling so far and risking so much in pursuit of a mere myth. It's no myth, as you well know. No, let's talk it over. My house is your house until the gendarmes arrive. And yeah, I love how Indy is suddenly a believer in all this, but then again, we have seen a little bit more at this point in the game. And it's not as much fun to play the skeptic when we don't have Sophia around a needle. Unfortunately... Listen. Omar is not yes. going to see reason or be helpful to us, which is weird because he was so very nice and helpful in the other playthroughs. Of course, then again, you've got Sophia to charm him in the team mode. And by the time you meet him in fist mode, you've beaten up the Nazis that were trying to kill him. You ever meet someone named Klaus Kerner? I don't discuss my associates with anyone, Doctor. Least of all, you. Can you help me find Atlantis? <laughs> I might as well help you find the moon. 
Nice house you have here. And nicer the sooner you leave it. So we're not going to go anywhere, but we can look at his stuff. Stop. Leave my things alone. Of course, he will not allow us to do anything with it, although... Stop. Leave my things alone. There's a painfully obvious way to deal with him. You can't do this. I think I can, Let actually. Son, addle your brains and cook your flesh. And we can grab his statues. May I... It's the stuff dreams are made of. But unlike the fist path, we actually can get a Just use a piece of bamboo. May a goat be the mother of your children. And as in the fist path... Oh, the stick broke, but I got the map. Finding that the map, map is easy enough. Good. There are no names on it. Map or no map, you'll never find the dig site. Uh, put a sock in it. Okay, so we face a slightly different challenge this time, as opposed to the fist path. Instead of jeeps full of Nazis, we have to evade the actual local authorities, who are also on camel. And we do not get the option of trying to fight them. And I'm going to try and quick speed my way around here. Get back! I'm sorry, but your visa isn't valid for travel outside the city. How dare you stop me? I'm a duly sworn officer of the Foreign Legion, and I stop anyone I please. What would it take to forget we ever met? Well, now, that depends on what you have to offer. Well, how about this fine statue? Here you go, my man. A rare and beautiful soapstone statue. Why, thank you. Go in peace. Now, of course, this trick will only work twice. But if you wind up in a place where you can't avoid the guard like we did, it is quite it useful. It's like a map. But otherwise... What do you make of this map? It's exactly hmm. the same. This X is to the south. And to the east. Thanks for the information. And we better be ready to book it because sometimes it will spawn a guard right next to you. And we'll go ahead and do this camp, even though I think we have to go a little bit further to the east. What do you make of this map? Hmm, you are very close to the site. Then again, this X is a little to the south and slightly to the east. Thanks for the information. Okay, can we get to there before the guard gets to us? Looks like I lost those guys. Just barely. Well, look what I found, an abandoned dig site. That's where the gas is. It appears to be a telegram. It reads, Achtung, Colonel! Trap is set in Monte Carlo for 28. Stop! Bait is seance with Madame Sophia. Stop! Need you here soonest. Stop! It's signed Uberman. Okay, and this time... There's a plug missing. Instead of a distributor there's cap. There's a plug missing. It's missing a spark plug and battery. And it's missing the battery. Of course, now we have to fix the car because we head back here. Hey, my camel ran away. Or was he a dromedary? Either way, we know we have to get back to Monte Carlo to 
say, Monsieur, uh, save Monsieur Trottier. I can say Monsieur Trottier quite well. Monsieur Trottier, Monsieur Trottier, Monsieur Trottier. That was intentional there. And again, we have to pick up all this stuff in the dark. There's a coppery bead in here. Thankfully, this time we won't have Nazis shooting at us topside. But we will need gas to fix the generator. That's enough, the jar is full. It feels like a portable generator. It feels like a gas cap. Now it's open. I've emptied the jar into the pipe. And from here... Is that a ball these figures are tossing around? Or a stone disc? It's a painting of a chest or arc. I've seen that before. Well, as before, we push the circle. Well, now, here's something that Nazis missed. But there is no world stone, or a sunstone, or whatever stone it was, it's... It resembles that statue Kerner stole from me. It's a crumbling rock wall. There's a mural behind this crumbling rock. Who knows? Might have been a map to Atlantis, but now it's unreadable. So unfortunately, there's nothing else here for us. I better turn the generator off first. Yeah, no stupid death by electrocution in this game. So now we have a new spark plug to replace the one in the car. But how are we going to replace that battery? How indeed. Let's go ahead and use spark plug in engine here. What do you know? A perfect fit. Use our ore calcum bead in the now statue. Now the statue feels warm and tingly, especially around the horns. Use the statue with the spark plugs. touch the horns to the plug leads. Whoa, what a spark. What do you know? The engine started. It's alive. Alive! Monte Carlo, here I come. All right, so now we have to find Monsieur Trottier and... Let him know that he's in danger. Over here, Monsieur Trottier. Yes, uh, can I help you with something? Are you here to see Madame Sophia? Well, yes, I hear she's in town. I'm trying to work up the courage to propose my latest theory of Atlantis to her. What theory? I'd love to hear it. It concerns the location of the lesser colony. Oh, very clever, Dr. Jones. I can see you're trying to goad me into revealing my secret knowledge of Atlantis. Well, it won't work. Au revoir, monsieur. Wait, wait, wait. Over here, monsieur Trottier. What now, Dr. Jones? Be careful, Nazi agents are on your trail. Oh, that's ridiculous. What would they want with me? 
Au revoir, monsieur. Just a moment, monsieur. Oh, this is getting tiresome, Jones. Monsieur Trottier, you're in trouble. What makes you think so? Listen to this telegram. Octung Kerner. Trap is set in Monte Carlo for Trottier. Stop. Bait is seance with Madame Sophia. Stop. Need you here soonest. Stop. It's a Nazi plot. Take a look for yourself. You don't fool me, Dr. Jones. You're just trying to scare me out of this key to fabled Atlantis. But neither you nor the Nazis will ever hunt it from my grasp. You'll have to pry it from my dead fingers. Help me, Dr. Jones! You know, it'll serve him right if I let him go. But I hate those Nazis. Okay, so now comes an action sequence. Oddly enough. And there's not much to this, we just have to follow after the red Nazi car and try and hit it enough times to make it stop. And you'd think this would be in the fist path, but it isn't. ran into the car. Yes, I did, and I saved your life. Give me a moment to collect my thoughts. I am very grateful, sir. You made me see that an old coward like myself cannot outwit the forces of darkness now gathering in Europe. But you, Dr. Jones, with your courage and persistence, you might yet succeed. I plan to try. Good. Listen here. Recently, I acquired a sunstone, one of the oddly shaped keys you will need. More important, I know where to find an entrance to the lost city itself. Go on. It's on the island of Serra, south of Greece. Amazing. Indeed it is. You've read about the lesser colony in Plato's Lost Dialogue, have you not? Uh, yes, of course I have. Of course. Of course. I'm convinced Sarah is the lesser colony, and I believe it's the way in. I give you this information in heartfelt gratitude. I give you the sunstone as well, but I don't have it anymore. Wait, what? Don't tell me you let the Nazis take it. Never. I threw it out of the window during the chase. That was pretty fast thinking. Oh, you flatter me, Dr. Jones. Where did you throw it? It was near Boulevard Napoleon et Rue Hollandaise. Could you repeat that? French names give me fits. Better yet, I'll write it on this telegram. Here. Thanks. Good luck and Godspeed in your search. Well, just to double check. I'm at the corner of Boulevard Napoleon and Rue Lumiere. Hey, that's one of the two streets right it there. It says Boulevard Napoleon and Rue Hollandaise. Don't get saucy with me, Hollandaise. Okay, so now we just need to figure out which one of these streets is which.
I'm at the corner of Boulevard Napoleon and Rue Hollandaise. Hmm, that's convenient. That doesn't seem to work. Nothing down there. Because I swear, the first time I did this, I had to spend five minutes I see something checking down there. every side street. I got it! It's a small wheel-shaped stone carved with solar images. All right, well, one stone down. And since we're at the halfway mark and done with Monte Carlo, I'm going to go ahead and stop this chapter here. And next time, we will make our way to Thera. See you then.